Tiny House Prepper. Hi everybody, I'm Bill with Tiny House Prepper and in this video I want to review the EcoFan. This is the EcoFan. It is a fan that sits on top of the fireplace to help circulate the air. Now this is our little cubic mini wood stove right here and uh, this fits very nicely right on top of there. I'll show you in a minute. This is, is the coolest thing that, that it's it doesn't take any electricity because it generates its own electricity. It's called uh, thermoelectric generation. And what happens is the base heats up and the top up here where the fins are keeps this cooler and the difference in temperature between the base and the top somehow generates, I don't know the physics behind it, but somehow generates electricity and makes the fan turn. So what happens is when you put it on the stove, as soon as the stove heats up, this starts to turn. <clears throat> and it's completely silent, uses no electricity, like I said, and it's variable speed. It starts to turn at about 165 degrees, and then from there on, the hotter it gets, the faster it turns, up to 600 degrees. At 600 degrees, it's, re it's reached its maximum speed. Um, it circulates the air, the hot air, to make your stove more efficient. And the company claims, the company that makes this, EcoFan, claims that uh, it actually has shown in testing to save up to 18% in fuel costs by using the EcoFan. Now, this is our little cubic mini wood stove, like I said. This is not, this video, okay, is not a review of this little wood stove. But I'm sure I'll have many questions, so I'll tell you that we have done several review videos of this. And I'll put a, uh, a link right up in here and down in, this, in the uh, description for the playlist for our review videos for the Cubic Mini Wood Stove. Um, so, this is actually the larger wood stove, Cubic Wood Stove. This is called the Grizzly. The smaller one is called the Cub. And you see this nice uh, trim around the top. This won't even fit on the cub unless you take the trim off, which you can do. But fortunately on the Grizzly, it'll fit and leaving the trim there. So I'm going to set this here. And in just a minute when it starts to heat up, you'll see it start to turn. Okay, there it goes. The wood stove was hot because it's burning and when I put the fan on there it took a minute for the base to heat up and now it starts to turn. So now the hotter it, go it gets the faster it will turn. And just take a minute and listen to it. It's totally silent. We really love this thing. It pushes the air well, moves it all around the room. Now we live in a 32 foot RV tiny house and last winter we heated the entire house for the entire winter with this little wood stove. In fact the smaller one. Yeah we had the smaller the, the cub and this is the, the larger grizzly. But even though it heated well we did have a couple of cold spots and, and here's, here's part of the reason. This is designed to be mounted on the wall. You see how high it is off the ground. What that means is that the heat doesn't get down as low and if you mount this lower it's so tiny that you would actually be crawling around on the ground trying to service it when you open the door and try to clean it out so it really needs to be up here where you can get to it in fact I like to just sit on a chair when I service it and it works really well that way now here's the stove from the other angle let me get down at the level of the stove and I'll show you the other situation that we have that caused a cold spot. Notice that our recliners hi there, hi. are lower than the fireplace. Not only that, but they're also in this little bump out. So we have walls on three sides sticking out into the cold. 
And so even though it would be really hot right up here above the stove, it would be like 90 degrees up here. It would still be kind of cold over there where we're sitting. And we sit there to watch Netflix up there on the TV screen. In fact, I think um, it would have been really cold if Bill hadn't put that extra pane of glass across this window. That has worked and really helped. But yeah, this is a little bit of an exposed area. Yeah. And by the way, right now I'm really nice and warm. I just love this blanket so much because it's soft and cozy that I have it on. But I'm actually quite comfortable. <laughs> so what we've got now is this fan angled in such a way that it blows the heat right directly at us over there. And now, when we're sitting over there, we can feel the heat from the fireplace just pouring over us. It's truly lovely. And it's not like you feel the breeze, you just feel the warmth. Right. It's just amazing, this quiet, silent fan. Also, the stove is out here in the living room at one end of the trailer, and you can see down there, it's dark down there, but that goes, that door goes through the bathroom and into the bedroom all the way in the back. And so, though it, you know, it would be 80 degrees in here, and it would be 60 degrees in the back of the bedroom. Now, sl sleeping in 60 degrees is fine, but um, that was all still heated just by the stove. But by putting this little eco fan here, even though the fan is blowing away from the bedroom, it actually starts the, the air moving, circulates the air all the way through, and it really ke helps keep it warmer in the kitchen and back there in the bathroom as well. When I think of all the things that I've been really grateful for to be able to have in such a small place, um, recliners for one thing because of this little bump out, um, we never ever ever expected to be able to burn wood in here and we are so grateful that we've been able to come up with a stove that has worked so well and now of course this little fan has made it even that much more efficient I know last year we heated on heated this place for about five pieces of cordwood a day which is amazing so I think the fans gonna make it even better this year so I'm really grateful for that so in case you can't tell we really love this little fan <laughs> <laughs> um, where do you buy it? Well, I bought it online. I, I'm not going to tell you one specific place because there are a lot of different places that sell it. Just go, just do a Google, a Google search for EcoFan and you'll find a bunch of different places. I found it uh, anywhere from the high of about $150 down to, I actually got it on sale for, for $85. Um, without the sale price, the normal low that I saw was around 95 or so. So just put it into, you know, do a search for EcoFan and you will definitely find many places that, that uh, sell it. Um, this one has a black blade. It also comes with a chrome colored blade and with a gold colored blade. But I got it all black just because everything here is black and I think that looks better that way. Just in, in terms of prepping, um, I really appreciate with that fan just the utter functional simplicity of the design. It's well made, it's sturdy, and it will never require electricity. So as long as we have any source of heat, we can move the air around. And I just think it's a brilliant design. And like I said, it, it fits in not only with a very small place here for us, but with something else that we know we would have in case we ever didn't have electricity. We were fortunate that the, that the fan just fit on our little cubic mini wood stove. If you have a full-size stove, not no problem. In fact, if you have a full-size stove and a big place to heat, you might even get a couple of them and have them pointing off in different directions. So that's the Eco Fan uh, wood stove fan, and I highly recommend it. It's a great little tool. It's beautiful. We love it. If you found this video to be helpful, please like it. That really helps us when you like the videos and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. God bless you guys. Love you. All right. Goodbye.